Craft beers have been growing in popularity over the last few years. There are 5,000 craft breweries nationwide producing 775 million gallons of beer. All that new brew creates billions of pounds of waste that often gets thrown away until now. ABC7 Mornings anchor Reggie Aki introduces us to a peninsula startup that hopes you'll eat the leftovers. At Triple Voodoo Brewing Company and Tap Room in San Francisco's Dog Patch neighborhood, they have a number of unique beers available. They're all made with the finest hops, yeast, and malt. But what's left over after making all that beer creates a huge amount of waste. We pay the city to take the, our spent grain, essentially our waste, away. That spent grain usually would be composted, but today, brewmaster Phil Meeker is giving it away to some peninsula entrepreneurs. What we're doing is we're taking this grain that has already been used to make beer, and what's left is all the protein and the fiber, and we turn it into an ingredient in baked goods. Co-founders Dan Kurzrock and Jordan Schwartz call their company Regrained. Using a proprietary drying technique, they're turning all that beer waste into super grain snack bars. They make them at this community kitchen in San Mateo. They got the idea while making beer in college. And I was just blown away by how much grain was left behind every time that we made a batch. For every five gallons of beer, there was 20 to 30 pounds of grain waste. Reed Grain estimates the U.S. beer industry produces 15 to 20 billion pounds of spent grain every year. We had nothing to do but toss it. I felt like I was throwing away food. That kind of light bulb went off that the creation of beer actually also creates food. Kurzak and Schwartz started baking bread from the spent grain and giving it away to friends who loved it. That's when they realized they were onto something. It turns out that spent beer grain is low in sugar and high in healthy nutrients. Regrain calls it edible upcycling. And what's left is a much higher percentage in protein uh, and a much higher percentage in dietary fiber, uh, along with some other healthy micronutrients and uh, fiber properties like prebiotic fiber that exists within the grain. They currently make a honey cinnamon IPA bar and a chocolate coffee stout bar. Both are sold in health and specialty stores around the Bay Area for about $2.50 each. Regrain is planning to expand to other baked goods and is working on marketing a flour made from spent beer waste. The founders say the best thing about these tasty treats is it doesn't give you a beer belly. It actually gives you a nice fit six pack belly. <laughs> and solves a bigger problem along the way. Reggie Yuki, ABC7 News.